Uh, the goal of this presentation is to enable you to formulate skincare products with retinol. So we want you to maximize the benefit that retinol can give you. Retinol is not a new product, it's not a new functional ingredient. It's known for many, many years, at least 30 years, and there are different derivatives. And we will talk about what is retinol, how does it work, and why do we need it? This will be the beginning of our talk. Then I will introduce you two different technologies, Multicell, which we have been using Multicell for over 10 years, and a new technology, it's called Microcell Retinol, and you will see the difference and how to use them and why should you focus on one other than the other. And then, of course, uh, we'll bring you into formulations. After you understand uh, the technologies, we'll show you how to use the technologies to make unique, interesting finished product. Uh, so we have a very busy and very interesting uh, program for today, and I hope you will tune in and we all will enjoy it. At least I would like to enjoy it. So let's start with what's the problem? And uh, don't get freaked out when you see this picture. Um, but you know that every kind of wrinkle has a name. Did you know that the blow drop is the wrinkles um, above your eye? And uh, the flow lines, you're familiar with those, those are the impression lines. And many times we really fight very hard to remove them or to at least reduce them. The forehead lines is another one, has to do with the expression. And this is typically the target of Botox, but we are going to use other technologies than Botox today. Um, there are other lines on the face, like the crow's feet around the eyes, which appear relatively in a younger age. Uh, the teal throat, another kind of lines, and of course the nasolobe unfolds uh, around the nose, uh, which is up to the lips. Uh, these are sometimes thicker uh, wrinkles. The marionette lines appear later on, on two sides of the, uh, of the lips. Uh, the ventral, I don't talk about this. Uh, then we have the bunny lines around the eye. So the mouth for the vertical line, don't forget the vertical line, and of course the neck. So we have plenty of places for, for wrinkles, and it's good to know the exact line so you can target uh, a treatment for that area. But the general treatment for all the wrinkles, and the reason for having wrinkle is all the same. So what is the treatment, the solution? The solution is focused on vitamin A, and retinol is a derivative of vitamin A. Yes, we can consume vitamin A from food, from liver as an animal source, but from multiple vegetables and fruits. So vitamin A is available to us, and the more we consume, maybe the better it is. Okay, now there are several derivatives of retinoid, retinoids forms. Okay, they are used both in cosmetic and also in dermatology. Just get familiar with them. Retinol is the one that we are going to use in cosmetic. It's a weaker, over-the-counter version of retinoic acid. The drug is retinoic acid. Retinol is the alcohol form of the retinoic acid. Then the, the drug itself is tritonium, all trans retinoic acid, also called retin A. And then we have the isotritonium, also known as the acutin. So there are all retinol, uh, retinoid forms. Retinyl palmitate is a derivative with the palmitic acid. These are the most uh, familiar common uh, variations of retinoic acid. Now, what is retinol doing and why do we need it? So uh, we know for a fact, for many, many years of experience, that retinol reduces the fine lines and wrinkles by increasing the production of collagen. So we know the end results and we know the process by which it happens. It makes the skin look plump and younger looking with improved firmness. It's also known as a brightening agent. It's able to fade pigmented spots and repair uneven skin tones. 
So what does it do? It also causes the skin, the, the cell skins to turn over faster, rejuvenating the skin. So it clears the pores because of this process. It's reducing the pore size and it's in general a great acne fighting treatment. So you can see in this model, the difference between a younger skin and an older skin, where the major difference is that the older skin losing the collagen and elastin, and therefore there is no support and we see the wrinkles. And it's happened all over the face. It doesn't matter how do we call the wrinkle. In more details, you see the cross section. This is, uh, you see the epidermis layer, and then you see the dermis layer, and the dermis is where the cells are dividing, and the cell is going toward outside. It takes about 28 to 30 year, days to move from the dermis up to the front of the skin, about a month. So every month we have a new skin. Uh, when we get older, the process takes longer. So in order to rejuvenate the skin, we need to exfoliate out by using some outside uh, material. So retinol is working to accelerate the turnover, working to with the green arrow. At the same time, it's working inside in the collagen to boost the collagen from inside in order to push the skin out. And this is how we get a firmer and a, a reducement of the wrinkles. So this is the mechanism, now you understand it fully. Now, how does it work on the cellular level? I'm explaining you this so you understand better the value of using a delivery system when you need to reduce the irritation of retinol. And we talked about the side effects, but still you want the benefit of retinol. So how does it work? And this is a very simplistic model, but it will give you the idea. What's, this is the model of a cell. The cell is a membrane. In the membrane, we have proteins and let's say this protein is called retinol binding protein. This binding protein allows for the retinol to bind it and bring it inside the cytoplasm, inside the cell. Otherwise, retinol would not penetrate. Now, it's only retinol receptor. If you take a retinol derivative, the receptor may not recognize it. That's why it's so important to speak about retinol as is. Now, the retinol in the cytoplasm will undergo several steps, enzymatic reaction. The first step will transfer retinol into retinaldehyde. So by using retinol, we actually producing retinaldehyde, which means we don't need to struggle by adding retinaldehyde from outside and with associated issues with retinaldehyde. The retinaldehyde then will transfer to retinoic acid. Now, when we talk about dermatology and drugs and accelerated repair, many times we add the drug, which is retinoic acid. So we may skip a few processes in order to accelerate the performance. But remember, the binding is very specific to the retinol. Let's say higher affinity to retinol. Now, we have the retinoic acid and we also have the nucleus in the cell. The retinoic acid uh, will bind into another protein that's on the membrane of the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we have the DNA, but the retinoic acid cannot penetrate into the DNA because of the membrane. This peptide that you see on the membrane is binding specifically to retinoic acid and brings the retinoic acid inside the nucleus. So you understand we are talking about affecting the genes, the DNA, and now the DNA, because of the complex that attaches to certain genes, will activate the production of several enzymes, peptides, that would affect the anti-aging, the collagen synthesis and other benefits. So this is not a typical cosmetic makeup kind of product. This is a dermocosmetic active functional ingredient, I would say, that allow to be used for cosmetics, but you understand how it works now? It works on the DNA level. And not always, the more you put, the better it is. Yes, it could more, more you put, more irritation you can get, 
but not always you get the benefit faster. So it very much depends on the individual genetic structure to receive the DNA and transfer the message into anti-aging processes. So this is the mechanism, now you understand. Um, what is the problem with retinol? There are many problems. We have to be aware, and then I'll show you how we overcome the problems. The number one issue is the sun. The sun, when you expose skin that was treated with retinol, very delicate, very delicate skin, and the skin is very sensitive to the sun and it's got burned. You don't want to expose retinol or retinol treatment to the sun. To the sun. Retinol should always be used as a night cream. This is even encapsulated retinol, always in the night cream because the effect is, first of all, there is an effect immediately on retinol. Retinol is typically should be protected from the sun, but the issue is the skin itself. Okay, so retinol is number one. What is the number two issue? Uh, the number two issue is the skin. I think this face, this picture tells you everything. Uh, you see the irritated skin and uh, typically applying the retinol on, on fair skin, on sensitive skin, there is redness, irritation, dryness, even flaking sometimes. There is pain, burning, itchy, stinky, uh, irritation. This is the major issue. And you can see the irritation, uh, it, people that experience this, it, they experience immediately, and it lasts for a couple of hours. Of course, after 48 hours, um, uh, it's fading off and it's a little bit better. So we have a problem uh, with the sensitive skin. Okay, another problem is stability. And this picture tells you all. Uh, you see that over time, retinol gets oxidized. We will have to understand why it's getting oxidized and how can we prevent it. Now I'm talking for the real chemists that want to know what is in retinol that make it so sensitive. So retinol, look at the molecular structure. So retinol is, you see a phenolic group and then there is a chain and an OH at the active site. So you see the conjugated a double bond, single bond, uh, conjugated bonding to the retinol. So there are many oils that have conjugated and double bond, all the polysaturated, like the vegetable oil, like sunflower, avocado, almost all the oil, they have the double bonds. These double bonds get oxidized. When they get oxidized, what happens? The oil become yellow. And you're familiar with olive oil, the difference between virgin and non-virgin, uh, fresh oil and aged oil. You can see the age of the oil ben, based on the color without even doing further analytical analysis. So the double bond is the cause for oxidation. And as it oxidizes, it's become yellow. This is true for all unsaturated vegetable oil. However, in retinol, we have conjugated, which means one double, one single, one double, one single, that makes it even more sensitive to oxidation and retinol turns yellow more quickly than the other oils. So the question is, this is all very nice. Is it still active? Does it really do the job? Because when you buy it, it's already yellow. So the answer is yes. As long as the structure is mostly adheres, and there is an OH group at the active site. You see, this is the site that binds to the receptor. As long as this is in place, the material is active. So yellow doesn't mean that it reduces the activity. Yellow just means that there is double bond that tend to get oxidized to a certain extent. But as long as you become brown, then it's a different phase, a different level of oxidation. So, we stick with the yellow color and the yellow color is okay. So now you understand this part. So how do we address all this issue? What is the solution for all this? So number one solution is to encapsulate retinol. And we are introducing two different technologies, multi-cell and micro-cell. They are all microsphere. Both of them are dry powders uh, with a diameter of about 20 microns, a very fine powder. And they all function 
you know, one purpose to encapsulate retinol. Why do we need to encapsulate? Because the encapsulation physically prevents oxidation. What does it mean? You can extend the shelf life. The shelf life of the product on the shelf storage and also on the skin. If you put it on the skin, they will not get oxidized immediately, but it will take time until, until there is a mechanism of time release. The encapsulation is slowly releasing the full amount over time. So slow release is very beneficial for the skin. But now you understand it is a biological process. You have to expose the functional ingredients for a longer time in order to activate all the biological processes to see the result. It's not enough to give one push and forget, but it's a biological process, which means contact time. And this is the benefit of all the time release uh, technologies. So multicell is a technology by which we encapsulate some microspheres with retinol into another package. And this package, the package will break down when you rub it on the skin. And this is how the retinol is going to be released into some microspheres, the blue beads. And these blue beads will slowly penetrate the skin and do what they're supposed to do. Compared to this, macrosal is a totally different technology. It's a lipid, all lipid, much larger than the tiny spheres that we have in multicell retinol. And the retinol is dispersed in the lipid. The particles are small enough, so they are not gritty to the skin, but because the size is larger, it provides better stability. So the major benefit is to enhance the stability, especially in water, because multicell can break after a while in water, and then it's releasing the submicron. Microcell cannot break in water. It can break only when come in contact with the skin and rub. So it melts inside the skin, melting inside the skin. This is the major difference between microcell and multicell. And we just launched microcell and samples will be available in a couple of weeks. So we allow you to test it in yourself. So uh, we tested, we know that both microsal and multisal are much more stable than free retinol. They will not discolor to the same extent. We also know that the encapsulated retinol are tested uh, okay with whipped. It does not irritate. Uh, it's considered not to be a, a primary synthesizer. And this is at 0.5% retinol. I will speak about the dosage. 0.5% is a lot uh, to our experience. You don't need to always increase. I know it's a fashion to increase the dose. People think it's better, but the, the major reason why people increase the dose is because of instability. So over time you get less and less and less. So people start with the higher load, but you don't need to do that when you use encapsulated retinol. This is one of the major benefits of retinol. Uh, we know that it works and people can see the benefits within two weeks. The wrinkles are uh, definitely will smooth out, uh, fine wrinkles, absolutely. So it takes about two weeks to see significant effect. And this is only with 0.2% retinol. Now, retinol is great, but there are some disadvantage of retinol. And I would like to introduce you how do we plan to offer alternatives to retinol? So major issue with retinol is the irritation. Uh, the alternative are less irritating. They are good for sensitive skin. Uh, the alternatives are also not sensitive to sun, to light. So they are suitable to be used as a day treatment. And it's much easier to get. So what are the new uh, products that are coming up? So coming up, so I'll give you now the horizon where we are going. The first product, it's called Hydrosal Stimulate. This is based on functional peptide. This peptide known to smooth lines, to find breakouts, fades, acne scars, drastically expedient healing time of cuts or plastic surgery and so on. It's firming the skin and it evens the tone. 
This is called hydrosol stimulate coming up. The second product is called hydrosol revive, and it's based on alternative ingredients to retinol. Bacachiol is one of them, rose hip oil, and beta and alpha hydroxy acid. So these together are comparable to the retinol and much less irritating to the skin. So they are fading the wrinkles, uneven skin and smoothing the skin. Bocacciol is a botanical uh, extract from the seed of a plant. And it was found that this extract is activating the same genes as retinol. That's why it's considered as an alternative to retinol. At the same time, it doesn't irritate the skin uh, to the same extent. The benefit of the technology is the ability to use it in a safe and enhance the bioavailability of the material into the deeper layer of the skin. That's why we use a delivery system. Okay, and now we are all updated about the technology. Exactly 20 minutes, now I can move into the formulation. So now we want to show you how to formulate with the products. So we have different ways of using microsal and multisal retinol. The first one, we want to show you how to use multisal retinol by adding it at the end of the emulsion. So you make any emulsion you want and I'll give you an example, one of the emulsion with a good amount of water mm -hmm. and emollients uh, and you add it at the end. Then I want to show you how to use microsal, the new technology, also at the end. Typically delivery system, functional ingredients sensitive to heat, we always recommend to add them at the end of the process. So this is one uh, mechanism. The second one is use multisal, but add it into the oil phase and then add the oil phase to the water phase. This is a technology or method that was adopted by multiple chemists successfully. Always add the multisal, multisal into the oil phase. And number four, I want to show you how to use microsal into an oil phase. So although microsal is fat, lipid base, you can put it into the oil phase and still retain its functionality. So these are the typical ways to use multicell in a formula. Let's hit the wall. The first product example coming to us from Bangkok, um, from uh, Alpha Tech Science Laboratory, and this is a spa retinol cream. It's using only multicell retinol. What's unique about this, it's very hydrating. It's hydrating. That's why we call it the spa retinol because it brings in the spa experience of moisturizer with macadamia seed oil with fatty acids. And it's very lightweight moisturizer, so it's easy to apply on the skin. So it feels like a gel, but it's actually a cream. It's absorbed very fast, almost instantly. We use the skin, provide immediately the moisture, hydration, uh, it would not irritate the skin and it would not clog the pores. So people concerned about acne, blemish, this is a good solution for them. And the first, in a couple of days, you can reveal a new skin, smooth, nourish, and so on. This is the formula. What is interesting in this formula? First of all, you see about 80% is, 87% is, excuse me, 80% is water. 87% is water, and this is phase A, the water phase. Of course, I will show you the details in a second. And then we have the oil phase, and uh, practically uh, that's it. Your emulsion is ready. Then you add the triethanolamine and the preservative uh, and the technology. So this is how it works. First of all, when you start, you have to be aware you have a vessel number A. This is typically the central vessel to use. The A uh, is the main vessel. It's all called process. You add the water, then the diglyceride, and the other ingredients that are water soluble. In a smaller vessel, it's called B, you start to add other ingredients, and this is the vessel that needs a little bit of heating to 65C. 
So vessel B contains the oil phase. All the oil phase go into B. When B is totally homogeneous, you can stop the heating and start to cool it. Cool it to warm temperature. When it's reached warm temperature, then you take B and add it into A. So now B totally disappears from our picture and we have now A and B. So A and B at warm temperature. Then it's C. C is the triethanolamine and hexandiol. This helps to preserve and also to buffer the pH. We add it into the blend. So now we have A, B, C together. So all C disappear. D is where we add the triglyceride and the multicellular. You can add them one after another or you can blend them first and then add D into the complex. At the end, you make sure that you adjust the pH to 5.5 and you're ready to go. So this is how simple it is. A, B, C, and D at the end when you add the active ingredient. This is how they demonstrate it in the lab. So you see, this is vessel number A, um, okay? And vessel number B. Only B needs to be heated. This is the formula, okay? Okay, the demonstration in the lamp goes pretty fast because we don't let you wait uh, until everything is ready. Okay, it takes a minute until we see it. Okay, it takes a minute until we see it. Um, the whole video is about one, one minute or less. And, and you can see phase A, the water phase with the carbon 21. It's all mixed together and the viscosity would uh, go up a little bit. So you balance the mixing until it's all homogeneous and it's all happening in room temperature. No need to heat it. Now you take a B, B you need to heat and you add all the uh, oil phase and a little bit of the preservative. Okay, now A, you see it's homogeneous. It's ready to accept phase B. So simply phase B is gradually added into A and we already have the viscosity attached to this and it's mixed together. C is the a correction, the triethanolamine and the, the all blend together and we started to get a gel texture. I said it's a cream, but the texture of a gel, that's what's unique about this formula. It feels like full of water. It is full of water, almost 90% water. Then a phase D is the solvent and the multisal. Multisal, the mix together. In this case, you see it's yellow, yellow liquid. The, the liquid helps to disperse it, prevent it from agglomeration practically. You see a little bit of the yellow color. We talked about the yellow color and the product is done. So the product at the end uh, looks uh, like a cream you see in the picture, but uh, it's a gel-like. So what do we know about the cream feels like a gel. So it has a luxury sensation, but the formula is pretty economical. So it's a luxury for less. It makes you feel like after a spa treatment. Okay, great for home spa. And this is where it's directed to. And in general in uh, retinol, we say it's reducing visible uh, signs of aging, soften the appearance of wrinkles and saggy. So this is formula number one. Formula number two, it's now a little bit more complex. It's a retinol facial, but the word facial may not be appropriate. It's a retinal treatment lotion. Why it's not appropriate? Because we think it could be very good for the neck and other areas of the skin. This product contains two technologies, contains microsal retinol and sunsphere aqua skin. So let me just explain you the unique technology aqua skin. Aqua skin are sub-microspheres 
with a shell made out of polysaccharides, algae polysaccharides, and they contain minerals, vitamins, like other algae, but the uniqueness of the algae is the ability to hold water. Remember when you walk uh, on the sea beach, right, on the sand, you see pieces of algae, no matter how long they are outside and exposed to them, salt, to the sun, they're still full of water. We want to retain this property from the algae on our skin. Now, inside the sphere, we have other materials that are activating water channels. Water channels is the discovery several years ago that explain us how to mobilize water from inside the body toward the outside surface of the skin. This is kind of an abnormal situation because we don't want to lose the water. That's why the skin is such a good barrier to prevent external uh, water um, loss. But in case of crisis like cuts and so on, there is transfer of water to the surface to accelerate healing. Now, somebody find out, a Nobel Prize winner, that there are channels. And we've looked at this research and found out what ingredients can open the channels to supply water, at least for a short time, to accelerate hydration. And this is aqua skin. So this is a lotion formulated with encapsulated retinol, antioxidant, natural butters, and other plants oil uh, in order to enhance the appearance of the skin. The formula. So uh, the formula is a little bit more complex maybe, but still F function A, phase A um, is the water phase. And you see there is at least 70% water in the formula. So it's all about hydrating the skin and accelerating. So number two, our emollients, uh, different type of emollients that help to restructure the skin and uh, retain the water and also protect it from any kind of possible effect of the retinol. And uh, phase number three are the two technologies that added one after the other. So this is a natural based formula. You see the preservative D is a natural alternative to typical preservative that we use in formulation. So how do we do it? Okay, how do we do it? First we start with, of course, a phase A. Phase A, is a larger vessel. Uh, typically we use water, uh, then we prepare phase B and phase C, we prepare. A and B should be heated to about 80 C. Okay, so A, we add the water, glycerin and dexanthan gum. This is all mixed and beautiful. And this F immediately after that, uh, we heat up B and we add into B all the oil phase ingredients. Now you can look at this formula and you may think maybe I can remove a couple. Sure you can. Go ahead and make it your own. But we just show you an example of what kind of oil oil based material that you can add in order to enhance the performance. Yes, you can cut half of them. Okay, now B is ready, both of them in the same temperature. Now we can mobilize B into A. So B will disappear uh, and we let it cool down. B will totally disappear, okay? It takes time until it cools down. Now, on the separate batch, on number C, we prepare the retinol and aqua skin. When the batch A plus B reaches room temperature, we can add C. C, we can add one after the other, or we can blend them first and add them together. Here is Brian explaining how to do that. In short First, steps. we premix our xanthan gum with our glycerin to wet the polymer. This will make it more compatible with the water and will make mixing much easier. The xanthan gum should be easily dispersed within the glycerin. Now that this is uniform, it can be added to the water, which has already been mixing and heating. Eventually, we want the water phase and the oil phase to both be at 75 degrees Celsius. Now, while our water phase is heating and mixing, we will begin to heat and mix the oil phase. 
Our first ingredient in the oil phase is GCAM CTG, which is caprylic capric triglyceride. This is going to be our carrier in the oil phase. Our next ingredient is jojoba oil. This will act as an emollient and will restore the skin. Then we will add Lexfeel N5. This is another emollient and will give the formulation a light feel. Now we will add some shea butter. This will add some moisturizing power to our final lotion. Once the shea butter has melted, the next ingredient will be added. Now we will add our emulsifier, Montanov 68. This is satiro alcohol and satiro glucoside. This emulsifier will help the oil phase match the interfacial tension of the water phase and create nice small droplets and eventually an emulsion. Now we will add stearic acid to the oil phase. This will act as a thickener and will make the lotion nice and rich. Now the final ingredient of our oil phase will be added. DL-alpha tocopherol care, which is just tocopherol. And this is a very powerful antioxidant. So this will work in concert with our technology, the microcell retinol and our other technology, the Salsphere AquaSkin to provide the anti-aging benefits to this lotion. Now that both the oil and the water phase have reached a temperature of 75 degrees Celsius, we will add the oil to the water phase. This will thicken the water a considerable amount, so an increase in propeller speed will be necessary. As you can see, I am maintaining heat while continuing to mix and add the oil to the water phase. Once it has mixed and been completely added, we will continue to heat and mix for another 10 minutes after the full addition. As you can see, now that the oil has been added to the water, a nice white opaque emulsion has been formed. Once the emulsion has been mixed for 10 minutes at temperature, you can begin to cool to room temperature. Now that our emulsion is at room temperature, we will begin to add our technologies. The first of which is microcell retinol, which is our custom encapsulation of retinol. As you can see, our technology can be added on top of the emulsion after you have created your two-phase system. Now our second technology, Salisphere AquaSkin, will be added. Our Salisphere AquaSkin is an encapsulation of an extract from seaweed. This will provide powerful antioxidant and anti-aging benefits to the final formulation. Finally, we will add our preservative, LincoServe, to the final formulation. Once this is allowed to mix for at least 10 minutes, the formulation is done and you have a retinol lotion. Here's what our final formulation looks like. As you can see, it's not super thick like a cream, but it's not runny. And here's what the application of this lotion would look like. Only a small amount is needed, really just a pea-sized drop. And then that amount can be worked across the entire hand and it will absorb fairly quickly and moisturize the skin while providing the retinol and seaweed. Great, so this is how we make the products. Good, I'm sure you have questions, you can use the chat and uh, the chat page. Uh, I already see a few, pictures, a few <laughs> questions, I will try to answer them uh, at the end. Okay, so this is a retinol facial uh, treatment but we think it would be fantastic for treatment of the neck. Uh, <coughs> it, uh, uh, we, we suggest to rub it over the neck, the chest, hands, and it visibly, uh, visibly restores the area prone to wrinkle and sagging, typically area exposed to sun. 
So this is a good treatment for that purpose. It's a very light lotion, quickly melts into the skin, leaving no residue, this is the point. It helps to fade hyperpigmentation, tighten the look and so on. So uh, this is the second one now, let's move to the third example. This is accelerated retinol cream. This is people that really want to see effect in a very short time. So for that purpose, we use Multisal Retinol and Salsphere Natural Anti-Aging. Natural Anti-Aging has to do with polyphenol. So we can mix these two ingredients together. Uh, otherwise, retinol is not recommended. It's not recommended to mix uh, retinol with other ingredients, but retinol with the polyphenols, when both of them are encapsulated, uh, provide a synergistic effect. So this is accelerating. How we accelerate? Uh, first of all, the polyphenol, and we also add niacinamide. Niacinamide or vitamin B3 added. Niacinamide doesn't need to be encapsulated. It penetrates pretty well. So together, we have a tri kind of a complex formula. You see, again, phase A is the water phase. Uh, niacinamide would go into the water phase and will dispense very well. Amount of water in this formula is over 80%. Now, at the bottom, you see at B5, multicell retinol is added at about 1.5%. That's enough. And then we have natural anti-aging that's added at 2.5%. This is the major uh, point. Uh, we use a, a simul gel, EG, which is a complex that immediately gives the thickening and the softness of the formula. Okay, now how do we make this formula? This is the steps. Uh, step number one, you have a vessel number A and vessel number B. Everything is done at cold, it's a cold process at room temperature. So we take A and incorporate in step number one, all the water soluble ingredients. This is step A. Now we go into step B to step two. Step two is all the oil phase ingredients, I added one, one after another one. And as I mentioned, in this case, you see multicell is added to the oil phase. Not like the example before where the multicell was added at the end. Here it's added directly to the oil. The oil phase actually helps its stability. Then when it's all reached um, um, very nice mixing, homogeneous, B is added to A. Okay, B is added to A, and what we get is we get A plus B. Very great. So now we go into uh, the third phase. The third phase is one ingredient, the CIMO gel, and this is added and immediately you will see a change in the viscosity, this is an acrylic a copolymer, and it works very nicely to hold the water and thicken the environment. And number four, then you add the natural anti-aging. Okay, so, and of course the preservative. Here is Brian again, explain you how to do that. The first ingredient that we will add to the water is niacinamide, which is otherwise known as vitamin B3. Next, we will premix our xanthan gum and glycerin. What this does is helps to wet the polymer and make it more easily dispersed within the water. Now that our premixture is uniform, it will be added to the water. Our final ingredient in the water phase is PNC 400, which is sodium carbamer. This is a pre-neutralized polymer, so this will thicken the water into almost a gel. It may seem that the sodium carbamer is insoluble at the water at first, but it just takes a little bit of time to hydrate and will thicken considerably. Now that our water phase is completely combined, we will begin to work on our oil phase in a separate vessel. Our first ingredient is permethyl 99A, which is isododecane. This is a film forming polymer, which will help to disperse the actives across the skin. Our next ingredient is squalane, and this will act as an emollient and provide a light feel to the final formulation. Next, we will add argan oil to the oil phase. This will provide some fatty acids and will help moisturize the skin. Next, we will add our preservative, Uxil PE9010, to the oil phase. This will ensure that the water in the water phase does not grow bugs. 
Now our technology, multi-cell retinol, will be added to this phase and dispersed. Now that the sodium carbamer in our water phase has completely hydrated and thickened, we will begin to add the oil phase to the water phase. Now we will add Simil Gel EG. This is a liquid polymer that will be used as an emulsifier for this purpose. And what this will do is to help the oil phase and the water phase to mix and create small droplets and eventually create an emulsion. Finally, we will add our second technology to the formulation, Salsphere Natural Anti-Aging. This is an encapsulation of apple extract and resveratrol, which are both very powerful antioxidants. Once this has mixed for 10 minutes and become uniform, you have a finished retinol cream. Here is the final formulation of the cream. As you can see, it's much thicker than a lotion would be. As such, it provides a lot of moisturization here is what the cream looks like being applied to the skin. A very small amount is used, and then that is spread around the area. This absorbs very quickly and is extremely moisturizing while providing the benefits of retinol and our Southsphere Natural Anti-Aging, which has the apple extract and resveratrol. Thank you, perfect. You see how easy it is to use these technologies. Uh, you can get the product. The product uh, ideally should be packed in such a container. Uh, there you see a variety. And what we can say about the accelerated retinol cream, it's accelerated repair by both retinol and vitamin B3. Of course, there is encapsulated time with this retinol to make it suitable for a consumer with sensitive skin. Okay, the last uh, presentation for today, the last fraction formula uh, is retinol oil treatment. This contains retinol, multicell retinol and hydrosal anti-aging lift. This is a technology that provide an immediate effect on the skin in terms of firmness and it's a peptide delivery system. So we release peptide and special peptide that are boost collagen synthesis. So now we're addressing the collagen by both retinol and the peptides. Now, how does it fit into and what's unique about this? You're familiar with the uh, uh, nourishing moisturizers, typically water-based product. So this is a group of products. Then we have the treatment, corrective treatment ingredients. Uh, these are a different group. Now what we do is here, we combine it with natural oil treatment. So we're addressing the needs for many people to go away from using water-based product into using oil-based product. In oil-based product, you add moisturization and you also don't need to use preservatives or to reduce significantly the use of preservatives. And this is a different trend to move from water-based to oil-based. Let's look at the formula. Now, the formula may contain multiple ingredients. Of course, you don't need to use all of them, but the major oil is coconut oil. Coconut oil, it's about 40%. Now, all the oils are added and the retinol, multicell retinol, and hydrosal anti-aging and you see the first ingredients in hydrosal anti-aging is palmitoyl oil tripeptide 5 and there are some other ingredients coming in in order to enhance the firmness and the peptide which is targeting the collagen. Here is the formula. It's actually pretty simple formula. You have a vessel A and you incorporate one after another all the oils. As I mentioned, you can skip oils, you can change oils, but it's an oil-based formula. Okay, when this is ready, now you can add microsal retinol. Microsal, and you can also use a multisal for that purpose. It's both our great technologies to add into the oil. And then you add the hydrosal anti-aging lift. Very simple to do. 
And here, Brian is going to show you the how first, to do it. The first ingredient in our beaker and the base of this formulation is coconut oil. The first ingredient we will be adding is hemisqualane. This will be used as an emollient and can be used as a cyclomethicone alternative. Next, we will add some squalene. This will act as an emollient and make the final oil feel very light on the skin. Next, our avocado oil will be added. This will provide some fatty acids and some vitamin E to the formulation. Now some sunflower oil will be added and these, this has the same benefits as the avocado oil and that it acts as an emollient and provides the fatty acids to the skin. Now our first active line fill will be added. And what this will do is to help smooth wrinkles by enhancing adipocytes, which are fat cells in the skin. Now our second active will be added, Vita Oils Plus. And this will provide some moisturizing extracts and oils to the final formulation. Now our next active, LipoGuard, will be added. What this does is to prevent lipid peroxidation within the skin. Now the first of Salvonis technologies will be added, microsal retinol, which is our encapsulated retinol. And as you can see, even though we are adding a solid to a completely oil phase, it is dispersible and it does solubilize within the oil. Now the second of our technologies and our final ingredient, hydrocell anti-aging lift will be added. What this ingredient is, is a combination of encapsulated peptides, resveratrol and niacin, which all have anti-aging benefits. You may have noticed that this formulation does not have a preservative in it. That is because this formulation is completely water free. Here is the final formulation of the retinol night oil. As you can see, it is very watery, but as such, it is used in a dropper. Here's the application. As you can see, just a small drop is used, and then that small drop is spread around the area. It is very, very moisturizing. And it's ready to go. So this is another simple, thank you, Brian for showing us uh, several products. The same thing to Bangkok, showing us uh, different formulas. I definitely get more formulas, but in the short time, I cannot present all of them. So uh, this is retinol oil treatment. Uh, it's all encompassing, moisturizing, anti-aging, the peptide, the retinol, and um, the other ingredients to refresh uh, the, uh, the skin. Now, um, uh, I wanted to use this opportunity to tell you none of multisal or, or microsal shouldn't be added at high temperature. Retinol is sensitive to temperature, shouldn't be added at temperature above room temperature or 30 degrees C. Um, multi uh, microsal is very effective when we use water based formula. Water based. Multisal should be used more into anhydrous or when you mix the multisal first in the oil but we can see other people figured out other ways to use retinol. And you see a couple of commercial products that using retinol and are very successful as well. So retinol is being used in commercial world. Let's summarize what we learned today. And number one, now you know more, and I'm sure you're more familiar with retinol as the gold standard of anti-aging. We explain you the sensitivity of retinol, what is the source of the sensitivity on the molecular level. We also talk about how does it work, what's the mechanism, how does it penetrate the skin, the cells, and the nucleus, and why do we need all the steps in order to make it happen. Uh, we also review the major backthrough of retinol, is the limited shelf life, the irritation, and so we have a solution for this, and this is our encapsulated retinol. The encapsulation helps us to extend shelf life. So this coloration, it will not become brown 
its shelf life, I mean, in your lab, in your production, and also when it's on the skin. It reduces the irritation. It makes it suitable for sensitive skin. This is because the retinol is very slowly released from the microsphere onto the skin. So this feature is very useful for consumer with sensitive skin. Now, the multisal and the microsal are very easy to formulate. I showed you before. And it's very easy to store them. You don't need to put a refrigerator. You don't need to use a nitrogen to protect it from oxidation. And it's preservative free. So both of them, multisal and microsal, do not require for themselves to use any preservative because there is no water in the formula. Okay, now to summarize, I showed you two different technologies, multisal and microsal retinol. The microsal is the new one. Microsal is now used for uh, solutions, especially when you have a water-based product, it's a better solution to retain the color and the stability of the product. Um, however, as I said, uh, many people use multisal, and uh, they use multisal very successful uh, in water-based product. They found a way to incorporate it. So we show you how to use a retinol. I would like to finish with a couple of messages. Those that uh, uh, learn from this and are able to formulate, fantastic. But if you're still looking for finished product formulation, you can always contact Advanced Beauty Lab and they can produce it for you either in bulk or in the finished product. All that you need to do is to contact Advanced Beauty Labs, one word, .com, or to call Jeff Gohau at 609-270-9359. He will be happy. Uh, thank you for your participation. I really appreciate the time you take, an hour. Uh, I'm rushing a little bit because I don't want to exceed the hour. And I uh, leave you with uh, my uh, information, uh, my the phone number to the office. Uh, the phone number is, by the way, available 24 seven. Please leave a message, we'll call you back. The message will come to the right person, so the right person can call you back. Uh, my mobile, so you can reach me directly, is uh, on the screen. You can also reach me by different apps, and I will welcome a conversation with anybody who's interested.